it's Kat and I'm back because what once was will be again. I got my thinking cap on and we're going to do predictions for episodes 9 and 10. And in reality, what we're going to do is I am just going to wrap up some of the predictions I have previously made and put them in this little video right here. So a couple of weeks ago, I had a video. It's uh, down in the links. I called it Fallen Car. You can see what the <laughs> what the outcome is that I believe that Tommen had to fly because all your sins come back to haunt you. And we saw Bran previously having visions of himself falling. And we know that Cersei, Jamie's on the way back to Cersei. So my idea at this moment might be that Tommen catches Jamie and Cersei in flagrante delecto like Bran did. And all the rumors and other aspects that um, he that he's been denying this whole time or never suspected are going to come true. They say he leaps out the window. This is the leak. There's a leak that says he leaps out a window. So is he just so distraught he leaps out the window? Maybe Jamie calls him son. <laughs> And then something about a new king comes to the throne. Although I was really under the impression that it would be Marjorie next. And Bloody Queen Marjorie with Lancel Torquemada at the head of the church. I'm still predicting that. That'll be by the end of this season. Let's talk about what's going to go on in the north. Because I think that's really what we're going to see in episode 9. Is that, yeah, there's going to be a battle. There is a leak about something that's going to happen. But um, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not Rickon. Rickon is on the Isle of Skagos. So I will put a link down there about what the Isle of Skagos is and who Rickon is. And to put it mildly or shortly, it's Kukulan, the Hound of Ulster. But... Littlefinger will sweep in at the last minute just as everybody's being slaughtered uh, so he could take the credit and put Sansa, at least, if not Jon Snow, into his debt because that's the, just the kind of asshole that he is. <laughs> and moving over to um, River, the Riverlands, I already said I'm very certain Brienne and the Hound are going to have a meeting. She's in the Riverlands. He's in the Riverlands. She's going north. He's going north. I suspect they shall meet somewhere upon the road. And that will be very interesting. Then we will go to what's over in Marine. Well, I think this is pretty simple. Um, Danny's back. They're under attack. She's got the dragons. She's going to go all Mother Dragon on them. But at the same time, I believe that Yara will sweep in. And save the day from the ocean. And then we're going to get Venus in, uh, in her lunar occultation. Where I said that Yara and Daenerys are going to have a relationship. You can catch that link. It's in the Lightbringer. Because Daenerys is following the path of Venus. And before she can finish going west, her last transition is a lunar occultation. And the moon is a goddess. Okay? Follow that along. And let's see, anything else? Varys goes back to King's Landing just in time to be maybe part of whoever's going to be the next king. I don't know. <laughs> that one, I'm I'm not sure I can predict. Although Varys has pretty much taken over the role of uh, Ilarius Malpito or whatever his name was. So, King's Landing burning before the end of the season? I don't know, because uh, after Tommen dies, who comes to the throne? Something about a new king. I thought it would be Bloody Queen Marjorie. Maybe she acts like she's pregnant. Um, but maybe it's after it's said and done, Jamie sits on the throne and he becomes the Mad King. Burn them all. <laughs> because your sins come back to haunt you. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, and then, yes, almost forgot. Speaking of sins coming back to haunt you, the mountain. Will blow in the wind like the leaves. Because he's going to be pitchfork and torches. He's going to burn. And then ashes to ashes, dust to dust, they fly away. The mountain rides in the, blows in the wind like leaves. <laughs> or maybe he jumps as well while he's burning. I don't know. Because your sins come back to haunt you. He stuck Sander Clegane's face in the fire. 
All right, that's my predictions, short and sweet. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.